Heading back to school is an exciting time for most children, reconnecting with friends after a summer off. Yeah, but for others, it is a time plagued by problems in the classroom. Problems one local eye doctor says could be more related to vision than delayed learning skills. In the first of a two-part series, News 10's Jessica Hayes explains how vision affects learning. We talked about the soil. ADD, spelling problems, and trouble concentrating can cause kids years of delayed learning. But the culprit may not be what you think. The visual system, if you would look right at that O, it is the dominant sense through which children learn. And if they have any deficiencies in any of the visual skills, how many clowns do you see? Kids needed to read and learn. They're not going to be able to achieve up to their full. What I'm checking right now is for an eye turn. Dr. Amanda Judson founded Terre Haute's Vision Learning Center. She says 2020 vision is not an all-inclusive guarantee against eye problems. Not every eye exam checks for learning-related vision problems. And if those things aren't checked for, then these kids can be missed. Take that, please, and cover your left eye. Dr. Judson says that 80% of what a person learns is vision-related, and that as many as half of people with learning disabilities also have vision problems. So if you're looking at this, but you're seeing this, it could spell trouble in the classroom. Dr. Judson says almost all symptoms used to diagnose ADD also indicate vision problems. Please slip those glasses on for me. There are a lot of children that have ADD-like symptoms, but it may not be ADD at all. It may be the visual systems interfering, causing those poor behaviors. Few optometrists study vision therapy, so Dr. Judson says the problem is often overlooked. But if diagnosed and treated, students have shown marked improvements in the classroom. In Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim. Uh, this eye-hand coordination is what we work on a lot. Jessica Hayes, News 10. Make sure to tune in to News 10 tomorrow at 6, 5 Central for the second of our two-part series. News 10's Jessica Hayes takes the vision test and looks at some types of therapy. In the meantime, to learn more and to contact Dr. Judson, go to our website, WTHITV.com, and click on this story.